Well, Declan, it's been an interesting start to the season in many ways. Um, it's been eventful, shall we say? Yeah, um, obviously three draws, and we, especially with two home games, is not what we wanted. But um, I suppose we can take the positives. We haven't been beat yet, so we've um, shown great character in those games. We just need to up our quality. You showed character last one time out, obviously. Um, going two down in six minutes was far from an ideal start. You, you came back well. No, we've learnt a lesson from that game. Uh, not to underestimate the opponents. I think we went in there thinking that... Um, we could walk over them almost and um, we know that we need to treat every game in this league as um, it's the biggest game of the season and uh, we'll be doing that for now. Sides that come up like them, sometimes having one promotion last season, they've got that momentum, haven't they, Ash? Ash and, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll carry that through, really. Yeah, they were very good. Um, you can see they like to pass the ball and uh, they stuck to their principle as well and I think it surprised us a bit when uh, fair play to them and uh, I think they'll do well this year. I was impressed having gone 2-0 down you then obviously were 3-1 down as well and I thought oh, that, that could be the end really but still you came back yeah well we're, um, we've done a lot of fitness over pre-season and I think it's uh, it's showing come towards the end of the games but um, obviously you want the fitness for when we're trying to kill the game off not, not trying to chase games so yeah obviously new manager this time what sort of difference was it in pre-season was it very different um, well, we we don't we done a lot of fitness work, and I think you can see we're a lot fitter. But um, and obviously the change of formation. But I think we just need to work on our quality on the ball and keeping the ball for longer periods now. And uh, hopefully everything will click together soon. It was frustrating, I suppose, on Tuesday night because obviously you were due to go to Chester, and and that didn't happen for very understandable reasons. The place was flooded. But um, you you've now got Darlington here on Saturday. Yeah, obviously disappointed as we weren't happy with Saturday, so we wanted to put things right on Tuesday, but um, we got a great chance in front of the home fans on Saturday. Yeah, back here, and uh, that does make a difference, obviously. Yeah, always, always love playing at um, Agbro with a pitch and everything, and uh, with the fans, so hopefully we can get our first win. The league was so tight last season, wasn't it, really, all the way through, and it's showing signs of being not a whole lot dissimilar this time, really. Yeah, that, that's why, obviously, it's the first three games, that's why we're not, we're not losing any sleep over it. Um, we had a similar start last year and, uh, and come the winter months we um, we thrived so hopefully everything can click sooner rather than later and we can get on a run. Do you think the squad is showing signs of gelling? Yeah, obviously it, it, it takes time but uh, this week's done us a lot of good getting on the training pitch for a full week rather than just having games and just cooling down and not training so yeah. And you've been in since the first minute uh, this season, I think you've, you've played the lot. Yeah. Uh, uh, good for me this year because um, last year I was sort of at the start in and out until the end of October, November and then I got my run so hopefully I can have a run throughout the whole season really. Yeah and players need that run again so if you are in there at the side, if you're on the bench one week and then starting it's it's a bit sort of yeah, hit and miss really. Yeah very frustrating at the start for me last year but um, but got a lot of games after that and I uh, was very happy with how I did and just need to do it for a full season this year. And obviously it's a point that's been made by lots of people, but with so many games in August and September in, in this league, um, you, you've got to sort of get a good start, really. Yeah, it's important to get a good start, but um, but it, it's, a, it's a long season and um, we've only played three games, there's what, what, 39 more, and uh, we've just got to be consistent over the whole year. I think that's what we lacked last year, so hopefully we can start picking up results now and continue it. How much do you know about Darlington? Um, I know you've got the two big boys up top, Stijs and Ainge, and uh, they're deadly. And uh, We played against them both last year, so we know what they're about. So um, we'll look at them over the next few days and then hopefully put up a plan to beat them on Saturday. Yes, no doubt. The boss is saying that it's all about what you do, really, rather than what they do. Yeah, it's all about ourselves, especially at home. But like you said, seen last Saturday, we need to we need to know about the other team as well because they could catch us by surprise. And presumably you're enjoying things at the moment. As I say, you're playing every game, so you must be be loving this. Yeah, you? whenever you're playing, you've got to be happy. You know, um, it, it could be worse. You could you could be not playing at all. You could be injured. You know what I mean? So you've got to take you got to take every minute on the pitch. Um, you, you got you got to be happy with every minute you get on the pitch. Yeah. So Darlington here, and then finally, obviously, then go the rescheduled game at Chester as well. So if you can get a decent points return out of the next two, it's setting you up for the Bank Holiday weekend, really. Yeah. Um, well. As I said, we, we drew the last three games, so it's important we start picking up three points instead of one now. So, yeah, hopefully we can go on a run.